So Matthew 9, 36 to 38, we read this. When he, Jesus, saw the crowds, saw the crowds, open my eyes, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. It's this metaphor of farming, which we get around here. If you're anywhere in the Salinas Valley, you know, this idea of, of the harvest is plentiful. What it's meaning is this. There's lots of people whose hearts are very open to God and very open to Jesus. The harvest is plentiful. People's hearts are open. It says the laborers are few. That's talking about Christians. There's few people that will level up, raise their temperature, and really reach out and share the love of Jesus. So Jesus looks around. He saw the crowds. He had compassion on them. I love this. Jesus opened his eyes, and he saw. And he saw people as they really were. He's this mass of people. You know what he saw? Sheep without a shepherd. People who are harassed and helpless. You know what we do sometimes? We look at people, and we say, but that person is so mixed up and confused and broken, they will never come to Jesus. And we kind of write them off because we only see them through our eyes. We look at somebody and say, well, they're so wealthy, so together, so happy, and so happy, they wouldn't even want Jesus because they already got the perfect life. I mean, they don't want to go to heaven. They got better than heaven right now. You know, and we go, I don't, they don't really need it. And we see people a certain way, and we get our own thinking. Instead of saying, God, let me see people the way you see them. When Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Lord, open my eyes so I can see people the way you see them. I had a profound experience one time at, in, at O'Hare Airport in Chicago. I was going from one gate to another, and I was kind of in a hurry. And I had this, I had this experience with, where I was going, moving, kind of moving through the airport, and every person I came to, I didn't see them as a person. I don't see them as somebody loved by God. I saw them as a distraction and somebody in my way because I was in a hurry, and I was running late for my connection. So I'm going through the airport, and I'm moving fast, and I'm moving along, and there's, you know, there's, there's an older couple moving slowly right in front of me, and I'm just thinking, Come, what? move it, people, you know, because I'm like Jesus. And so I'm like, and, and I'm like just, am I the only one? Come on. You're laughing because you've done this too, right? So I'm just like going around them, and then, you know, and then there's people like standing and chatting like in the middle of the traffic zone, and I'm just, you know, going around, and then and I get on the, the little, little people mover thing, and it clearly says, walk, walk, and they're doing what? Stand, stand. And I'm, just, and I'm just thinking, what's wrong with you? And I'm, so I'm dry, walking, and I'm just having all these not Jesus-y thoughts. And, uh, and I'm just working, and I'm seeing these distractions. And, and the only way I can explain it is as I'm moving through the airport, I had this, like, this little, like a mini miracle moment. Like, it was truly, I think it was a miraculous thing. As I'm walk, all of a sudden as I'm walking, God opens my eyes to not see people in my way moving slow, and it was this, this and I, I've had, you know, I don't have lots of these things, and, but, but I had this where I'm, all of a sudden as I'm walking, I start looking at the people instead of distractions. And God lets me see. I don't, I can't, I don't even know. Some of you will get this, some of you won't, but I mean, I just, I look, I'm looking at people and I see brokenness and loneliness and emptiness and sorrow. And they're, they're, they haven't changed any, but it's just like I can see it. It's like this little piece of God's heart and God's eyes. And I kept moving through the airport, but all of a sudden, I did, instead of looking at people thinking, get out of my way, I just started praying. And I just started praying with the heart of God for these people. And, and it was like, I had no way to know that this one woman is so lonely and so broken and so hurting, but I knew. It wasn't like this thing I was making up, because I didn't, it, was, it, just, it just happened. And it happened for like four or five minutes. And I wish I could say, guys, that's always the way I see the world now. I don't. Now I have to say, God, help me slow down and look closer. But when I slow down and when I look closer, I get more of a glimpse of who people really are. And, and, and there's a lot of people that are like sheep without a shepherd. And they need Jesus. Will you pray, God, open my eyes and let me see. Do I look at people through the lens of culture, my own perspective, or the eyes of Jesus? And how can I learn to see people as Jesus does? And I'll tell you what you gotta start doing is not deciding whether or not somebody is ready for Jesus, open to Jesus, or needs Jesus. Everyone needs Jesus, and he loves everyone. He gave his life for all who would believe. And so, so when you look at somebody, don't decide, oh, they wouldn't want Jesus. Just say, God, let me see them the way you do. 